It's been blistering hot here in my Modesto, California, Zone 9B Tropical Garden. It's pretty darn extreme, actually, and it's probably the hottest two-week period that I've ever seen here in Modesto. Our average high temperature is going to be 110 degrees for the next week or so. So how do my avocado trees fare in this extreme heat? We're going to take a look at uh, my Carmen Hast, but first, if you like this channel, if you like growing exotic tropical fruit trees in marginal climates, click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and their questions. So uh, I get a lot of questions about this tree, uh, how this tree is doing in the extreme summer sun. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, big black avocado, the big black seedling avocado, and it's doing wonderfully. There's zero sunburn on this tree, and you can see it's in the full sun. This is uh, the south side of the tree. This is the hottest part, and I don't protect it at all, and I never did. But one of the reasons why I'm pretty successful, I believe, is that I have good watering system. I don't over fertilize. I deeply water. Uh, just before the um, extreme heat hits, <laughs> as you can see, these are these are avocados in the full sun, and they're doing just fine. Uh, so. No reason to uh, to really protect this tree from the sun. I do. Uh, I took some IV Organics whitewash, and I did whitewash this one branch from the uh, the giant avocado uh, that I had grafted onto there um, because it's sticking out somewhat when the sun's shining. So you don't want uh, you don't want that to happen. It'll it'll sunburn the uh, branches. And in case you guys are wondering what it looks like, a sunburnt branch. Look at this. Let's see if I can focus in on that. This branch was never whitewashed, and you do not want it. Now, this branch right here that I recently grafted is whitewashed, and I whitewashed it with the uh, little gray uh, IV Organics uh, whitewash because I'm in an HOA, and my HOA wouldn't like a bunch of white white painted trees they're just really picky about that they're a little little liberal about what you can grow but they really would complain if it looks out of the ordinary but yeah Mexicola grandes are doing good they're a little smaller than the the big black but yeah everything is doing good um macadamia nut tree doing wonderful i'll be doing a uh, an update video on this guy but let's come over here and take a look at my Carmen has this tree has been in the ground I planted it last summer believe it or not and as you can see this darn thing is doing so good the leaves are a little smaller than I would like but uh, it's getting no sunburn and as you can see it's got fruit on it now a lot of folks ask um, how long it takes from once you plant an avocado tree to the time that it sets fruit. Well, there's two different trains of thought there. One is you should uh, get fruit off of your freshly planted avocado tree in about three or four years once you plant it, assuming that they're grafted. This tree is grafted and it set about 20 fruit. And guess what? You really, really cannot have uh, that much fruit on such a, a one year planted. So guess what? I gotta take these Carmen Hass off. Look at that. I'm gonna leave a couple. I'll leave these two, maybe this one. But I had like 10, 10 fruit on it and that is just too much fruit for a small tree. Now, what do I do when it's 110 degrees out? I mean, a lot of folks would say, Jeff, that's gonna, that, that heat, well, We've had 12 days above 100 so far this year, 12 days. Uh, last night, our low was close to 80 degrees and today's predicted high is gonna be 111, 112. And as you can see, there's no sunburn damage or anything on this tree. Why? Well, part of the thing is, again, I whitewash it. See that? Any, this probably needs a little more, uh, it's getting a little sunburnt, but uh, 
Yeah, they need, avocados are one of those trees that really, when they're young, they need to be whitewashed. And as you can see, this one over here, and one of the reasons why this tree is not full and lush like this tree is by, because uh, that tree doesn't have any fruit set on it. When it sets fruit, then it, uh, yeah, it's just uh, not good for the tree, tree growth. So the, the goal is to remove as many excess fruit whenever they're young, and then they can handle the the sun quite a bit better so make sure you irrigate your trees early before the heat wave hits don't just have go out there and hose your tree down real quick just because it's hot out i wouldn't it tricks the tree into believing that they're getting rain and they i i just haven't i haven't uh, been successful with that everybody try what they can for their own garden and their own climatic situations but that's pretty much it today. My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them below. I do my best to get back to everybody's comments and their questions. And check out my regular vlog channel. I haven't been putting much on there, but I'm going to. Uh, Modesto Jeff is the name of that channel. And I'm going to be doing giving away some guava seeds this year uh, from that YouTube channel, Modesto Jeff. Don't forget to subscribe. You have a wonderful day.